Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this episode we are going to be taking a look at the Maytech 722 uh, flight controller, the, the F7 board, uh, and also the wing board as well. So, oh, and a couple of other goodies which I ordered from Hobby RC yesterday lunchtime, and it's been in turn up here the day after. Now, I do need to put my bit of a hand up. Matty kind of already been in there already, so when we're going to have a look at the board, I've... I've I was really curious on the board, as I'm sure you are as well. So, uh, we've got a collection of goodies in here. Oh, uh, I did order some pins, the uh, R-Clips. Haha, -ha, someone told me in the comments uh, on the uh, HPI Bullet video what they were called. And I bought, bought 100 of these from Banggood. They turned up... I ordered on Saturday, and we're recording this on a Tuesday. So that was, that was apparently from China, which is rubbish, because it's got a UK address on the back of that package. Uh, but um, yeah, they've been and turned up. Happy days. Anyway, moving on, I have a, oh look at that, a Hobby RC uh, bit of candy. Everybody likes a bit of candy. I'll stick that over the side. I'm sure the kids will love fighting over who's going to have that later. Uh, what else? Oh, I did also order at the same time. So we'll get to the Maytech board in a moment. Uh, I did also order myself a micro receiver uh, for, is it, yeah, it's the micro receiver for, uh, for the TVS system. So, kind of got four of them now. Yeah, four of the micros anyway. If you've not seen these things, they are absolutely tiny. So I can fish this out. There we go. That's how small the receiver is. Uh, and it's got crazy range on it. Now, the one thing which I have done, and it, it might be classed as a bit of an indulgence, is that also in the bag here somewhere, uh, yes, is just there, uh, I have also ordered the Immortal Antenna 2. So uh, I will be, well, wherever I did with it, there you go, uh, I will be tweaking mine to uh, have that antenna on it instead. Uh, just in the, in the installs because I that one of those is is going to give better range, isn't it? So that's what I've done for that. So I'm going to stick that to one side. That really isn't uh, the the main topic of the conversation. What is the main topic of conversation uh, is the Matex stuff, which is I have ordered two wing boards uh, and one flight controller. So on the premise that I'll get another flight controller at a later date. So this is if you didn't know about this is that my recent escapade with iNav was using the Maytech F7 board. Now, the reason why the Maytech F7 board took my, uh, caught my fancy is because it's an F7 board, which up until now, all the other F7 boards which I've seen have been really crap on the number of uh, like UARTs, uh, and yet the Maytech just seemed to have like got it nailed. you got to give them thumbs up. So I tell you what, going to get the flight controller out and then we're going to go and zoom in uh, and we'll take a closer look. Now I do like, the, the only thing which I like about this flight controller uh, is that it does come with the rubber mounts and also I need to fish those out too. So I'll tell you what, I'll fish, there's the rubber mounts and I'll fish one of those out as well so you can see what's going on. Now I just need to ground myself on the radiator behind me. The uh, little tip for you when you're handling any uh, electronics because uh, believe it or not, those are static sensitive devices. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought so. Uh, anyway, let's zoom in and we're going to have a quick whirlwind, whirlwind tour around these two boards. I wonder if I can do that a little bit better. There we go. Fantastic. So normally you would have it, I think it's that way around. Uh, yes, it is that way around. Now the reason why I like this system, it, what Maytech have been in created, in fact no, I've got that the wrong way around I think. Is that the wrong way round or the right way round? Yeah. Yes. No. Whatever. Uh, get back to my point, Matt. The reason why I like this system is because it's almost fully integrated. It's fully integrated to the point that what you can do, or what you get in this kit, is one of these little ribbon cables. And what you do, you move the... Again, I'll do my best to try and keep do this and keep it in focus. So I'm just going to move those up. That ribbon cable then sits in on the top of there, and you, you need the electrical pads facing upwards. So if I move that so the camera sees it, the electrical, electrical contacts are facing upwards, uh, and then you poke that in down there. Uh, believe it or not, it will go in. Uh, and then on the bottom of the flight controller, which would be then that way round, uh, is that you do the same on there, and that's why you don't have any pin headers going from the bottom board to the top board. You just have the 
uh, the little standoffs. So I, I love it because it's so simple. There's no like extra wiring, if that makes sense. And there's two of these PDBs which you can get. Now, uh, in the iNAV video, which you saw with the free wing a couple of days ago, uh, is that I was using the other PDB. Now, the bonus of using this power distribution board is that it comes with not only a decent 5 amp back, which is actually capable of supplying, uh, is it 5 amps? I'll tell you what, I'm going to look up, my, look up on my phone, just because I had it open it just a few moments ago. Uh, oh, I did have it open a few moments ago. Let me have a quick look. No, that was me searching somewhere else. Oh, pants. Anyway, I think I'm right on this one. The 5 amp, uh, the 5 volt back dishes out 5 amps. Uh, there is a 500 milliamp for your free volt uh, plug wire on there, which should be for the Spectrum guys. Uh, and there was also a 2 amp 10 volt back on board as well, which is a little bit of an oddity. I've got to be a that one has confused me. I don't know why they've gone for 10 volts. Very odd. Uh, I would have assumed that they would have gone for 12 volts, but I don't know. Anyway, let's have a quick walk around this board. So you're going to have to excuse me, I'm going to need to get my head in here and have a walk around with you as well. Now what you would have, let's start at the beginning, you would normally have your LiPo coming in here, so negative and positive. Uh, that does look like a diode there in the corner, so that if you did connect it incorrectly that that would blow up and not your board, so that is a good sign. We do have this resistor here, now I think this is rated for 140 amps, which to be honest, if you're sticking 140 amps through that tiny little resistor, chances are it might melt off. Uh, no matter how low the, the current on it, which I think it's only a half ohm uh, resistor. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've got the power coming in, diode protection, uh, and then we've got a uh, current uh, resistor, which is what the board does, is just measure the voltage loss over the resistor, and that's how you know what voltage or uh, voltage which comes up on your OSD. Now, staying on this side of the board, uh, you have minus and plus, minus and plus, so that then goes off to your ESC. Now, this one is specifically designed for uh, a flight controller for a wing or a fixed wing model because you've got ground uh, and then you've got some motor 2 and motor 1. Also, there's a nice little oddity here, so you'll see that we've got some little pin pads just down here. Now, if you don't solder up any of those, where it says... Uh, for 5 volts and VX on the board. Where it says VX uh, is that the, if you don't solder those pins up then it will be 5 volts. If you do the little joiner there it will be 6 volts or you can up it all the way up to 7.2 volts. So uh, for those rare instances where you want to run your servos on 6 volts instead of 5 volts uh, you can do and this board will spill that out. Uh, up to, I think again I think I'm right, up to a total of 5 amps uh, being provided by the voltage regulators uh, on board. Now there's a collection of other components in here, we've got some active little uh, ICs in here which I assume are the voltage regulators, uh, a couple of capacitors, well you've got a capacitor on one side uh, and a coil on there as well just to uh, keep the noise down. Uh, running along the side, now if you're using this PDB without the little strip lead and without using an F7 board or another board which has got one of those strips on the bottom from Maytech, uh, you've got current, V battery and ground, uh, 3 volts, that's what 3 v, v, free means, you've then got ground, 5 volts, ground, 10 volts and ground. Uh, you've got a couple of little solder on pads kicking around uh, and also that there's another 5 volts I presume, I'm just going to be using this as 5 volts, so VX to me means 5 volts. Uh, then you've got VBAT and ground which is a bit of an oddity there on the side. Uh, you've got SV3, so Servo3, Servo5, Servo4, Servo6 out of place but I'm sure it makes sense there somewhere. Uh, then you've got ground, 5 volts, ground and then servo, oh that's RX6, that's TX6 and RX5. So I'm guessing we do get some communication coming on those wires, we do get some communication coming back that way from the board. Uh, and then talking about communication coming back from that board, we have ground, 10 volts, ground and then VTX, so the video picture, uh, which is normally your uh, v, uh, your video out, which goes onto your uh, video transmitter, uh, is also coming out the bottom of the board. So that's actually kind of nice. It's going to simplify the wiring a little bit uh, later on. And then, of course, if we take a look at the flight controller, uh, we've got 
just the same kind of things that it is normal. We've got a push button to turn it into DFU mode, uh, a collection of outputs as well. Now, the reason why I liked this F7 board is because it's got five UARTs. So that makes it really easy for us to, to have a serial in on pretty much any UART. Uh, it also means that we can have GPS on any UART as well. Uh, and then any other accessories later, such as maybe like an airspeed sensor. Uh, for example. So we've got a collection of outputs in there. We've also got dedicated pins for uh, the LEDs uh, and uh, a collection of ones in there. Again, you've got the OSD on this side. So you've got S4, uh, which is Servo 4 or Output 4, Ground Ground, VTX, you've got Ground 5 volts and then the camera Ground and then S2. So they're already straightforward. But my main point here is that the reason why I've gone for this board is because I can connect up that parallel cable up underneath mount it in the bottom of that one uh, and this will just make it a very very slick system because again like I said you do get the rubber mounts as well that board will mount up on top of there uh, you've got access to all of the pins uh, going on on the side uh, and even if I look on oh yeah look they've got RSSI on there and then current uh, and then VCC yeah so you don't want to join these pins up from top to bottom uh, because they are definitely out of order, uh, at least on that side there. Uh, but anyway, getting back to my point, uh, is you can stack it up like that, you can have pinner headers on there so that you can just put your servo headers in there, and then on this side, uh, you would then go on and have uh, your power in or your LiPo coming in, uh, and so on and so forth. So that's what I've been in gone. This board, or the, the flight controller, uh, and the... Uh, PDB. This is destined to go in the Nano Talon. So, uh, if you've not f seen that episode yet, I covered it in one of the RC Coffee Chats. Uh, I've uh, followed Keith's build, uh, and he's made a straight uh, wing, or made some 3D printed parts, which you can then go on and make a straight wing Nano Talon. Unfortunately, when I was taking the parts out, I damaged the board. Uh, I don't know how I managed to do it because it was bloody working beforehand, uh, and then I. <laughs> Anyway, it got chopped and stuck in the bin, uh, so I needed a new board, and that's again I chose Hobby RC because they had the wing power uh, distribution board and the F7s in stock, which was a bit rare. Uh, so I grabbed those and a few other bits while I was at it. Uh, and to be honest, the TBR, uh, the TBS receivers destined for the uh, uh, Nano Talon as well. You might as well do a, if you're going that far. You might as well do a full upgrade while you're at it. You know. Uh, so this one is going to be going in the Nano Talon. I do need to 3D print off a quick little holder uh, for this one to sit in. Uh, besides that, I don't foresee any issues with this at all. It's really straightforward. Just need to uh, pre-tin the pads, uh, put a couple of pin headers on here, and it's it's just basically straightforward. I have off here. There's no there there is no speciality. There's no nothing really worthy of mention, other than I hasten to add is that I may need to change the orientation of the board. So normally, we'd have the, you've got to see the little arrow on the top of the flight controller. Normally, that would be facing towards the front of the model. Now, if I'm not going to bend that cable, that flexible ribbon cable, to, to get the board around that way, uh, so what I'll do is that I'll set it all the board up like this and get it all together like that and calibrate it, etc., etc. And then when I put it in the model, I think I need a negative 90 degrees so the model moves in the right direction. But I might be wrong, it's really, really simple. All I'll do is in the uh, uh, U-axis is that I'll change it to either plus 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees. And one of them, I'll just check it in the, in the, in the viewer which way is it going, uh, and either one of them will be right. But I'm pretty sure it's minus 90 degrees because we're going anti-clockwise. So anyway, that is the Maytech PDB. I've forgotten the... Oh, that's the flight controller. Yeah, that's the Maytech FC Hub W. Uh, I bought mine from Hobby RC. I'll put links to everything which I've bought down below in the video description. And again, for absolute clarity, uh, those are not affiliate links. Those just, uh, like I said, I, I've been chatting to Mike via email for the last couple of days. Uh, I knew that he had one F7 in stock, uh, and I wanted the uh, wing PDB, and I wanted an F7. He was the only person in the UK which I could find which had both of these in stock. So I grabbed them, uh, and then he'll give me a shout when he's got some more of the F7 in stock, and I'll grab one more to go with the other wing PDB, which I've got here. So there we go. That's the uh, what came in the mail today. We've like we got some sweeties, which is always happy days. 
branded sweet is I think that's pretty cool, uh, don't you? Uh, I got some R pins, uh, two flight controllers, and some other bits and bobs. Oh, and a TBS receiver. So. That's what I've been received in the mail today. If you have any questions about anything which you, you've seen me here cover today, uh, please just ask in the comments section underneath this video. Remember, as always, these answers were bought out of my own money for my own abuses. Uh, and on that note, I think there's not, not much more to say other than I'm going to whip over there, turn the soldering iron on, uh, and get some pin headers on here, get those pre-tin for the install, uh, and then we're going to go... Oh, I also need to fire up the 3D printer, so I've got a... Uh, a bed for that to sit on as well and then get this all wired up and shown in the nano talon now i know somebody is going to ask me oh matt can you show me your config for the nano talon yes i will at the time once i've got that set in so that will be in a later episode but for now it's time for me to go and as always for myself matt thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode and i'll see you again shortly cheerios <laughs> <laughs>